If you look hard enough, go off the beaten track far enough, you'll find an America teeming with the unusual, the odd, the downright strange. I'm Will Klinger, and I'm your guide on a package tour we like to call Wild Travels. We are at the Deke Slayton Space and Bicycle Museum. Deke Slayton, great name for an astronaut, am I right? Yes, it is, yes. Great name is. for an adventure hero of any kind. Certainly. And a good looking guy. You never see any astronauts that look like Barney Fife. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you definitely don't. Yeah, there's um, there's quite a few physical requirements needed to be an astronaut. Do you think I would have filled the bill? I'm, I'm about 6'2", 150 in, in wet clothes. You'd be too tall and too skinny. <laughs> it's about 5'11 and 180 pounds. Mm -hmm. That blows me right out of the water. Hello, welcome to Ed's museum. Who the heck was Ed and why does he have a museum? Ed was a Wyckoff person. He lived here all of his life, and he had this store. Diane, this case holds some interesting items, including Ed's gallstones. Again, he never threw anything away. I'm sure lots of us have had them taken out, but did we keep them? No. I'm not sure we, I've ever had a gallstone, certainly not 25. I think I'd remember that. Yeah, um, he kept them in this little jar, along with his gold teeth that he had taken out in this other little jar. I guess it would be even weirder if he had somebody else's gallstones and teeth. <laughs> yeah. Well, he probably would have kept that too, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> the problem is we're geographically challenged here in Wayland. The parade uh, would not fit. Town's so, too small. It's got a, only a couple blocks. So uh, we decided, okay, let's flip it around. We'll just set up the parade in the two blocks we have, and then we'll let the audience walk by it. And everybody thought I was nuts. It's just crazy enough to work. It, it's very quirky, yeah. Do you have a marching band this year? No. In the past, we've had some music groups that have added, added a lot of action to the parade, and that's always allowed if they stay in their spot. So march in place? Right. Like this? Yes. It's the only parade where a cello player could actually be in a marching band, right? Exactly. <laughs> I never thought of that. This is the Winona area barber shoppers. That's right. You got it right. Now, you guys can't be too pleased about your position in the parade. You're dead last. Uh, but we're in the parade. We get paid, too. How long you been singing in this group? I've been in a barber shopper for 55 years. 40 months. 40 months? I thought you were going to say 40 years. 40 months. 40 best months of your life, I bet. Oh, definitely, definitely. The Old West Society of Minnesota standing in this parade. Yes, sir. Still? Still. Do you ever get antsy and want to really march or no? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you seen some good stuff? I have. I'm a local. Oh, so. you're a local. You must be very proud of this darn parade. I'm very proud of this. Yes, so you're is. one of 63 people. Uh, actually, I don't live exactly in the town, but I live on the outside. You're living a lie. <laughs> Barber poles originally were uh, bandages. Barbers did medical treatment years ago. Barbers were surgeons, right? They were surgeons. Who thought it was a good idea to have the guy that's cutting your hair take out your spleen? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't think I'd want him to do it. Obviously, so the red is kind of for blood. The red is for blood. The blue has two meanings. Either veins is one theory or a patriotic addition. And the white is for bandage. No, the white is for bandage. That's Probably correct. don't want to put that in your brochure. It's kind of well, gruesome, no, really. That's right, that's right. Here's a pallet load of barber poles that is going to France. Here the Megaquap. Yes, yeah, so that's That does right. sound that's, like a French company. That, that is definitely a French company. And it's his attention, Rudy Poupin. Yes, that's correct. Rudy Poupin. He owns that company. You, you realize you're missing the beard and mustache parade is behind you. You could be in there. I didn't know. Yeah, it's all beard and mustache guys. <laughs> First time I heard about it. There's like 18 categories, and one of them is Bob Seeger. <laughs> you are not lying about the before and after. We talked to you yesterday. It looked pretty normal. You've gone the extra mile today. Well, you know, for the World Championships, you have to amp it up as much as you can. There's a lot of great competition here. You're amped to the max. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I'm scared of this guy right now. I'd be scared of this guy. You could, you could, you could cut an artery on those steel mustache. Look at that thing. Those are coming right at us in 3D, in a way. Yeah, I'm a sculptor. Since I didn't bring a car, I really had to bring the outfit. Oh, you brought it, sister. Hey, you're the St. Pauli girl guy. Have you seen me on the bottle? I have, and it's alarming to see you in person. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> yeah. You're in a th authentic Swiss garb, am I right? 
I'm in a Klarner tract. And I'm in an Italian tablecloth. <laughs> the Japanese did hearses right. In Japan, this is actually used to transport the casket uh, to the crematorium. And then the family comes in and does a ceremony, really picking uh, through the cremains with chopsticks, placing them into an urn. Picking up cremains with chopsticks. With chopsticks. I can barely pick up a shrimp. <laughs> a little bit different. What causes the worst hangover? What type of alcohol? Jägermeister and uh, sake. What about great quantities of wine? Because I've had some bad hangovers. It really depends. If you're drinking, you know, $5 a bottle Malbec or $5 a bottle Shiraz. And I am. Then you will have a bad hangover. So you're calling me a cheapskate. <laughs> I shoot this. <laughs> <laughs> this sign, it just says cocktail steak and chicken, but that's all. Keep it simple. All you really, yeah, that's all you really need to know. That's what I really live on is cocktail steak and chicken. That's really... I really need any. It's vegetables. Mm -hmm. This is an incense that will do what? What is this going to do for us by being here? Yeah, it's for the, the cleansing. You've got to go all over, huh? Yeah. Mm. As long as you don't set me on fire, I'm fine with this. I am getting my mojo candle that helps me with our, uh, my business. What is your business? Um, I'm a designer and a sex educator. I'm learning something already. <laughs> It's called pepito here in Spanish. Um, it's not a small pepito. <laughs> well, who wants... Pepito el grande. <laughs>